today on Nebraska Woodster. We got a new property to cut on. Let's show you. <laughs> guys this is Mike well like you heard got a new property here that we get a cut on and I don't I'm not quite sure I don't even think I'm gonna over exaggerate this but there's got to be about three miles of shelter belts these would have been planted back in the 30s uh, the homeowner was saying uh, back in the Dust Bowl days this here's some pretty god-awful sand blow sand so about every half mile you need a row of trees just to keep the wind from uh, blowing your dirt into the neighbor's field. So one thing is we were, he was showing this whole property here yesterday. Pretty old, lots of cottonwoods in here, but as you can see right here, all the way down every one of these rows, there's a row of ash trees. And lots of them, I don't know if they were planted in the, I know they weren't planted in the 30s or if someone came back and planted those later, but you can see like that one there, that one's dead already. Um, and there's some of them in there that are in just pretty poor shape. So virtually uh, good processor. That's what I'm really out here for is a bunch of processor wood. Um, so we're going to make some poles, probably leave them here. I don't know, maybe load them. We'll see. I just wanted to get out here and get an understanding what this was going to look like. But you can see how far this one goes down. It goes all the way back there. Here's the other half mile line one. And this one here should be damn near half a mile all the way to the highway. So anyway, said cut away and um, <clears throat> let me know when you're done, which will be never. But just looking at some of these here. Let's get on this side. The sun's killing me here. Got one dead one right there. Right there. And you can see that one. Come back a little ways. It looks like they're about every 10, 15 feet. There's one there that's pretty much, pretty much doesn't have a whole lot of trees on or leaves on it. Next one there looks pretty good. Then you've got, looks like, let's see, one, well, one, two, three of them all dead right in a row. So, be curious what we'll put a moisture tester on see see if this stuff is ready to sell but curious just how crappy it is or if there's any uh, rot, log rot going on to it but we'll start laying some of these down here and uh, see what we got
Yep, all right, have a good day. All right. Well, you heard me yesterday talk about a 2.30 Nebraska football game that the day was going to get away from me, and it did. Today is only about 75 degrees out. My sweating and my pores tell me it feels like 105, so I might have to call this some penance firewood uh, as well. But anyway, you guys kind of get the program here, so just laid down two of these trees here I think my plan you saw the uh, landowner come up and uh, really thankful because all of this stuff would end up on this road anyway just at the most inopportune time so try to do a pretty good job of cleaning up this road I don't need uh, the first two trees uh, get him thinking that I'm not gonna clean up uh, behind myself so um, we'll try and leave this place better than what it was and uh, just get some wood out of here my plan is just keep uh, stacking poles all the way along this grove and once I get some help, somebody come out here and help me throw them into the trailer or find myself a tractor close by and then just make loads out here and make it real quick um, and then just bootleg them all back to the house. So anyway, that's kind of the program here. I think we'll, uh, we're gonna find, there's cooler time ahead. No sense kicking our own butt. Happens to be some NFL football games on today. Um, so I might have to go back and do some rehydration. So anyway, we're going to wrap her up here today. You know the program. Like, subscribe, and share. See you on the flip side.